Hello Squirrels and welcome to BBM6 TV. Today what it is is um, the Shure SM7B and the Audient Evo 4. Now you can't see the Audient, um, it's on the desk behind me, but the SM7B is plugged in as is the uh, Austrian Audio OC818. The question is um, how good are the preamps and indeed the ADCs on uh, what is for Audient a very very affordable interface just over uh, 100 pounds, 100 euros, 100 dollars. Um, Audient, of course, have a very good reputation for uh, mic preamps. And the one I've had most experience with, the ID44, which is kind of a, a, the more expensive range, um, the ID range, has certainly performed very well. However, the, the Shure is a trial and a test for any mic preamp because it needs so much gain. The, the ID44 has 60 dB of gain, the Evo has 58, not a massive difference, just a couple of dB. But when dealing with the SM7B, every dB counts. Now, what I'm going to do is um, loudness normalize all the files so that I can match them as closely as I can, but uh, they'll all be loudness normalized so there'll be no advantage in level. First up, then, we've been listening to the Evo 4. Then we're going to listen to the ID44. And if I have time, I'll throw in a mystery preamp, but I'm not sure I will have time today. Let's see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to get close to the um, SM7B now. So here is the SM7B, a microphone with a history stretching back uh, into the 70s when it first appeared as the SM7 without the B. And um, it's had a renaissance of late amongst podcasters, broadcasters, but you often see it um, as a vocal mic in studio. It's got a, a significant and formidable reputation, but it is a tester of mic preamps and it's also uh, sort of funded uh, or encouraged a boost in the sales of cloud lifters and all sorts of um, inline amplification devices that add extra gain powered off the phantom power because of course it's a dynamic mic and um, it doesn't need phantom power, but you you power that this little uh, uh, amplifier, and that gives you an extra 20 dB of gain or so, and so you can use it with a lower gain interface. The OC818, on the other hand, is um, just a test to see how it sounds with a classic um, large diaphragm, uh, large diaphragm cardioid. It's uh, one of my favourites. It's a fantastically flexible mic, and it's fantastically affordable for what it is to get this quality made in Europe. Um, for the amount of money that you pay for it compared to uh, some other brands, shall we say, I, I think it's an absolute bargain and, and I do like it. So there you are. That's our first listen. That is uh, the Evo 4. So first up, we have the Evo 4 and a tasty little box it is um, at the cheap end of the Audient proposition. But now we've gone up the range to the ID44. You can maybe just see it over my shoulder there if you've got uh, eagle eyes, a little bit more gain, the classic Audient preamp design, and uh, mics remain the same. I've got the SM7B here, hopefully benefiting from that extra 2 dB of gain, and uh, the OC818. So I'm going to lean into the um, SM7B and use it as you would more normally, maybe that little bit closer. Uh, remember, all the files are loudness normalized afterwards, so there shouldn't be any difference in gain. And if you are interested in my gain hack, how to get more gain out of an ID44, check out that video and enjoy it. So here we go. Here I am, a uh, close working distance to the SM7B. I was wondering um, uh, whether you could see on the back and make out the uh, uh, position of the uh, switches because you can actually uh, shift the balance a bit. This is in flat, um, I think, and um, it's uh, uh, just an option that you get with the SM7B. I mean, some people, um, you take the take the windshields off or the windshields just deteriorate from lack from use and uh, and old age because uh, foam is um, uh, is prone to that. I'm going to turn now to the OC818, maybe just back off a little bit, give it a bit of uh, breathing room. And so you can uh, you can uh, hear contrast. I mean, we're not listening really to the differences between the mics. I've done plenty of videos on that. Um, this is all about the, the quality of the, the mic amps and uh, the analog to digital converters in the interfaces, which I expect to be different. I haven't checked the spec, but I expect there'll be different uh, chips because time moves on and um, so do chip manufacturers. So there we have uh, those two. I'll be interested uh, in your feedback in the comments below for it. Have we got time for the mystery preamp? Well, let me see how long it takes to set up. Well, I finally did manage to find the time to plug in the mystery preamp. I'll put a still up of it now. I haven't got time to wave the camera around. It's an audio developments 
AD-066, which would be um, a classic bit of mic amp technology from the well-known company Audio Developments back in the 1990s. So, is it an old piece of crap, or is it a retro gem? Because remember, something like this you can pick up on eBay. If you're, if you're patient, it'll probably cost you about the same as a cloud lifter. You get uh, two inputs, you get an MS matrix, you get headphone outputs. Uh, output you you know it, it's a totally different um, sort of class of device but now it's cheap however is a 25 year old mic amp design going to hold up when it goes in with the sm7b well on the front panel there's click stops that go around in 5 db steps up to 65 db of gain and then there's an overall master pot that gives you an extra 10 db of gain if you need it so i will uh, normalize this to 20 as I've done all the other files, but in, in theory, there's 75 dB of gain available for your lovely SM7B. But it's the sound quality too that we're interested in. Is this um, uh, good enough to uh, pimp up uh, an otherwise um, uh, uh, inadequate interface or an interface that just uh, you want to spend a bit more, more money on the mic preamps. Uh, my ID44 has got perfectly good mic preamps. But this is plugged into the uh, insert return, so it's going bang into the uh, ADCs, so we're giving it the best shot at competing with the uh, ID44 and, of course, the Evo 4, which is the subject of this video. Well, I hope you've had a chance uh, to hear the SM7B into that and make your own mind up. Uh, thanks for, for coming by. Do subscribe. It does help. Uh, bye for now, but come back soon.